We're going to open the phones up for Bob Chapman, specifically your questions on the economy. The economy and period. Bob, sorry to get you on late today. I had the FBI with the APD here in the office with my federal subpoena to go to Virginia in the uh, case of some idiot putting comments on my website. Why they need me to testify, I don't know. Hopefully this moron will plea bargain so I don't have to go. But uh, what an interesting, interesting day, Bob. It is fantastic. <laughs> the world keeps on rolling deeper and deeper into the mire, so to speak. And uh, But I'm glad that uh, it's something as simple as that. But it's not uh, simple. They keep asking me if I agree with the comments and things. They're definitely oh, they're to put trying my... to entrap you. Yeah, they definitely want to put my butt in prison. Yeah, what you do is just be very nice and say, hey, my attorney's on his way over. I already gave them my lawyer's name and number for next time, and they still show they up. They don't care. They'll still try it. You are, I mean, you it's know, so you, obvious. A guy posts a comment. Police. We remove it before we're ever subpoenaed. Uh, we have to go dig it out of the records under the federal subpoena. And then they're still here asking me what I think of the comment. Again, uh, you know, the entrapment. Hey, Bob, and, you've uh, dealt with these people before. What do you think about the original agent telling me to repost it? I think that's entrapment. <laughs> I mean, why would you want to put something back on that wasn't very nice or good or evil or against the law? Oh, Jesus. I, I, I'm just, excuse me, God. I, I, you know, I am so I, I, sick I, I, of these yeah, people. Yeah, you, you, you've got to mentally train yourself to deal with people who deal with real criminals all the time. And what happens to the police mind is they get like the criminal mind. And so they think everybody else might be a criminal. So they approach everything that way, including members of their own family. It's something that happens to people in law enforcement. And I have two members of my family who are in law enforcement. One of them just retired as assistant chief of police in a major city. And that's the way it is. Well, they didn't like it when I was rattling off FBI crimes to them and saying, that's why I don't trust you. <laughs> they may How to win <laughs> friends and influence people. You devil you. <laughs> uh, you know, they were actually, I didn't get a really bad vibe. One time with the BATF I did. I mean, my alarms were saying, criminal, 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 watch out, watch out. Totally different well, vibe. I, I had to put up with them for about 40 years, and uh, and they didn't like me very much at all. And uh, uh, they in the marshal's office are not very exemplary. Uh, there's lots of good people in law enforcement, but those two groups uh, uh, didn't get the best of the crop. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Well, uh, they've stolen $23.7 trillion and growing. The uh, unemployment skyrocketing. And there's all this baloney news about how great the economy is and new home sales uptick. But then I read the number. It said the decline slowed, but the AP headline said it had, it had grown. I mean, they are cooking some numbers, Bob. They certainly are, and they're all in on it, and they're all controlled in the media by the same people. And uh, uh, there's nothing we can do about it except on this program and others like it, tell people the truth, keep on pumping out what is really happening, and we're challenging them, we're, we're pushing them to greater heights and ourselves as well to put them down. They're terrified. We just discussed this before, and that's why I do so many programs. Incidentally, Alex, I'm going to be on... Uh, on with the George Norrie's program uh, Saturday night, and uh, it's the first time in a long time I've been on there. Good, but but we're we're banging away and we're not going to give up, and uh, we're making headway. We're we're helping people plan for emergencies, uh, both personal and physical, and as well as uh, their finances, uh, what should probably happen in the course of events. And uh, we can explain to them how people can steal $23.7 trillion, a, a colossal figure, which, which boggles the mind. 
But, you know, if you've, if you've lived in that culture like I did for 28 years, you know that anything goes. And they're always skating down the edge. I mean, it's part of the, the mental concept that goes with the market. And, and so it, it's not disturbing or unusual that they do something like that. All right, Bob, let's, let's break down the latest developments in the economy. Is it getting better, like they're saying? Like they said three years ago it was getting better? Or are they lying? I think I know the answer to that question, but we'll also take your calls. 1-800-259-9231. Infowars.com is the website. There is uh, so much to go over, so much to cover here. Bob, I want to just go right to calls, so because we rarely take a lot of calls when you're on, so you can cover the issues. But specifically, the economy, uh, the, the media saying everything's wonderful now, as record repossessions, record credit card defaults, home loan defaults, car defaults, car loan defaults. Uh, just every economic indicator is we're in deep trouble, and they're still just saying everything's wonderful, everything's wonderful. As the banks now, as we said six, eight months ago, took the bailout money and are hoarding it, and they're paying other banks not to loan. Why do they not want banks loaning? What, where is the economy really going? Down. And they're trying to tell us that the GDP for the second quarter was minus 1%. Now, the previous quarter, and I don't believe that figure, was minus 5.4%. And the one before that was minus 67 You don't take quantum leaps like that over quarter to quarter. I mean, that, that's a tremendous difference. And they're lying. I don't believe the figures went bit. And when I posted them for tomorrow's international forecaster at the end, I said, I don't believe these figures went bit. And so they just lie. And it's all part of a propaganda, psy war campaign to make you believe that the economy's doing good so you go out and pr do the same things you were doing before that got us in all of this debt problem. Absolutely, my friend. Um, there is there's a lot of concern out there about the flu. Clearly, they're using it as a political cover, a way to pose as saviors, a way to make tens of billions off vaccine. But they're now announcing they are going to use the Army for forced inoculations. They are going to try to forcibly shoot up the kids. They're trying to make enough vaccine for every American. Obama, Dr. Barack Obama, wants everybody to take three shots at least for a non-event flu. So it's clearly a PSYOP. The question is, how bad? Is there some real bioweapon they're going to release? You know, that's what they talk about in their own government textbooks like EcoScience. Here's a copy of it. Drugging the water, the vaccines, how to do it. I mean, they say they're going to do it, and they've been caught doing it. I mean... But I guess it's an extreme and conspiracy theory to actually read their book and then be concerned about it. And uh... Well, Alex, where do they find out how many people are going to refuse to take it? Not only in the United States, but throughout the world. Now, I know it's mandatory already in some countries. And a lot of people aren't going to take it because they're listening to the information that you and I and others are putting out, my goodness, my health section is now, because of this, as big as my U.S. section of my publication. But everything that's good that I read that comes through, I post it in a link. And uh, and so the people are finding out everywhere. And I've had tremendous amount of requests of people wanting to leave the country because, as you well know, in other countries like in Latin America or Asia, uh, they're not as sticky about everybody having a shot Um you know, they might say you should, but they they won't enforce it. But they will in the United States and in Europe. But what do you think the PSYOP's all about? Have a big political smokescreen to pass cap and trade, the gun bills, the open border bills, the water grab bill. And their whole agenda is stalling. And uh, we see them building mass graves, getting the military ready since January that we know of. Then they prime the hype in April for this non-event of a few deaths, and then now they're acting like it's the end of the world. And that's just not how flu works. And All these top epidemiologists are on the news saying this is all a fraud, but that they don't know why. I think it's completely clear they're planning on using this as a pretext to lock everything down in the middle of the Depression. 
Or it could just be a beta test for that down the road. We know they're federalizing everything. We know we're under U.N. control under this level six. I mean, Alex, you're right. It's a beta test to see what gains they can make to see what the reaction of the people is going to be. And then they know when the big, big one comes, so to speak, two or three years down the line here, maybe in six months for all we know. Uh, what the reaction will be. And, of course, the shots that you have will be worthless against the next flu that they've created. One of the things that I married uh, this possibility to uh, is the, as you know, uh, back in May I said that the U.S. embassies were receiving U.S. dollars to be traded for local currencies. And I backed into that. And, and I that's verified. I, I've got uh, several sources on that. 